Hi guys, uh, here we are with one more uh, video. In this video, I start grooming this dog before I, I bathe him. Then uh, after bathing, I start filming again how I dry the dog and, um, and then I groom him a little bit after I, I dry. So here I start again uh, behind the ear you know, it's a place that I like to start every dog. This dog has been groomed, has been grooming um, constantly, like every uh, once a week. So he's not uh, he's not bad or or messy, but there's always touch ups. And this is about what I talk in my uh, seminars about keeping up with the grooming. You know, like or in some people. Uh, call it rolling the coat and and he's a young dog there's still some soft hair that needs to come out so uh, and you pull it normally and eventually the hair will, st will harden you know so the leg you see I brush up uh, now I'm doing it with my fingers I brush up and pull down like that he has less hair he's a young dog like I said now I get the two look and I'm cleaning the calic a little bit there in the direction of the hair. As you see, the hair goes round around the calic. So, uh, and see how I, uh, for more than one reason I move around, but one of the reasons that I wanna see the dog from um, all angles. So it's important to see the dog from all angles, pulling in now the, in the back of the leg. Uh, I always try to keep the dog standing up. So, because it's the the position they will be when you show them, right? So, cleaning the shoulder, you know, and when you clean the side of the, the leg, uh, you have, you see how I turn the leg outwards just a little, you know, carefully, but I turn outwards and I pull down and kind of in so the hair would tend to grow in and not outwards because when you look at the dog from the front you um you won't see hair sticking around uh out okay so uh i think it's very important for you guys to watch uh uh the grooming how i pull you know and um try to emulate uh my style so uh then you can incorporate some of that to your style you know uh, every time you learning from somebody try to groom like them and then once you 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 got the technique down then you you can see what you you can choose what you want to use or not okay it's not like i said many times it's not that my way is the right way there's many uh, right ways of doing it. you know mine is just another way so cleaning the front here um, you see how I pull that part around the calic in the direction of the hair there you know like so um, take a look in uh, Watch me pulling for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, look now, you see how I turn the leg a little bit outwards, put my hand, the palm of my hand uh, against the leg and then pull the hair back there. So this is 
to give the dog a little bit more leg. He's up on leg, but uh, it gives nice definition of the leg when you, uh, when you do that. You know, take that hair, extra hair there. Uh, what you're seeing here uh, is basically maintenance grooming, you know, you won't see me taking um, too much hair anywhere, like I'm just keeping up with it, see where the hair is growing more, there's uh, 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 like a too much hair in certain areas, so you see, like I'm picking, lift a little bit, pick here and there, just maintaining the dog. So this, if you groom, if you groom your dog once a week, you know, uh, you can, your grooming will be just that, like cleaning up, taking a little bit of hair here and there to maintain the dog in a good, in a good shape, okay? So, Uh, okay, so take a look here. Notice when I brush how the hair lift up here right by the elbow. So I put it down and how it becomes smooth and the leg looks uh, more like a column. So every time you brush up, some of the hair will, it will show itself like they are too big. So then you can pull that hair and then it's moved into, into a nice uh, column shape. Again, notice the direction I pull, you know? So it's very important towards the um, shoulder there uh, in the neck. And uh, the top pulls straight back, look at that, see? As you get down to the side, then I pull on an angle. There's some extra hair, so I lift there and pull a little bit to take volume, that every time you, you, you lift and pull, you're taking some of the volume down, okay? So, this is basically maintenance grooming. And uh, so, taking little bits at the, at the time.
So uh, here, um, cleaning a little bit on the back side. You see like I clean just around uh, on the side, um, below the tail, uh, cleaning it up to make a, a nice um, straight line there. So uh, you don't see bumps in the area when you're looking from the side, you know, like uh, see the direction I pull the hair and uh, all I'm doing is cleaning up uh, to make uh, it look nice when you look uh, uh, from, uh, from the profile. Uh, mind you, his, um, his rear is it's being worked on and he needs more hair as well. So um, all dogs are different. Some dogs grow hair some dogs go hair, grow hair in uh, areas more than other. So he needs, for example, more hair in the head. Now I'm picking a little bit the hair on the head too, because uh, he still have uh, quite a bit of soft hair in the head. So I'm trying to uh, take some of that hair, and try to um, make it harsher, you know, and, uh, grabbing from the tips all around. You know, when you do this on the head, you re always remember you, uh, you have to keep in mind the round shape, you know, it's, it's easier somewhat than you think, but at the same time, uh, if you haven't done, uh, too many, uh, at the beginning, you have some difficulties, but just keeping mind the round shape when you do and go all around the head. Okay, so here I continue the, the maintenance grooming. Uh, do the rear, I brush the leg up, I brush uh, the, the hocks up, I brush the leg down the side, lift the part, the part that I want to um, start to groom, and then look, look how I look from the side to try to, um, to see how, how the, the angle is going uh, of the leg. Um, you cannot groom the dog from one position and, and think you're gonna finish the dog and they're gonna look great because you need to look from all angles. That's very important. You know, good to have the mirror there. Uh, every once in a while, take a look at the mirror and uh, make sure um, both sides are matching. You know, if not, then I can go there and correct. So um, it's a very important uh, part uh, of any grooming room to have a good mirror uh, to help you. So now I'm going there right the neck near the, the ears, the little bit that I have there and uh, cleaning up. Um, grooming becoming becomes a process once you're used to your your way of doing it and uh, so you go to the same things you know in that uh, uh, in that order kind of thing so you see how I'm doing the the back of the head again I divide on in a triangle there and all the big hair uh, that uh, I brush back so I'm taking taking it out you know like th those are excess 
uh, hair that needs to come out. So, um, uh, and uh, I would like to uh, like to um, take this time now to to apologize that sometimes I get in front of the camera because uh, the camera is stationary and uh, it's very hard for me to um, to to be to be grooming and not be in front of the camera every time because I have to move around. So it's a, it's a little bit of a struggle sometimes uh, to try to give you guys the best view at the same time um, being in a comfortable position uh, to groom. So um, I like uh, to I like you guys to be patient in that, that point. So maybe in the future I'll find somebody to, to film for me which will be great and then they can move around as I as I groom that will be even even better okay so um uh right now you see how I groom right where the leg meets the the leg meets the body the back leg meets the body there so I I I take a little bit more hair there to uh to make it uh to define a little bit what's leg and what is um, what is body, okay? So, uh, and I keep uh, doing the maintenance and uh, taking some of the hair there. After that, I'm gonna, uh, after that, I'm gonna uh, dry the dog. So, uh, you guys are gonna see a, a quick 30 second, um, third second time lapse of me blowing uh, the dog after I bathe, which is uh, taking um, um, most of the excess water. And then I will, um, I'll show you how I groom, how I, sorry, how I dry uh, the dog after that. So uh, then I will explain what I'm doing during the dry, okay? It's the full, full time full dry you see the whole process okay Okay, here we st start the, the drying. I just had uh, blown the hair, uh, the excess water. So I give a quick brush, you know, and uh, then I'll start drying. Uh, I'm drying here with a standing dryer, but you can dry with a hand dryer. It's, it, it, this will go a little faster. Um, it can be awkward sometimes, uh, but uh, the, the hand dryer would just do the same job. So I always start in the front there. Uh, when you're drying uh, a Westie uh, or any dog, you start drying first where there's less hair or where there's uh, hair that can dry fast and you don't want them to dry on their own because then they curl. So, um, so you start where there's less uh, hair or the hair dries faster. And then from that point, you start going into uh, the parts uh, that uh, takes longer to dry, um, uh, being the top line. But the last part that I dry is the top line. I start uh, with neck and legs, front legs first. Uh, uh, and then you can go either head or sides of the dog, 
go around the dog and then after either head or sides and then you, you go with the top line okay so um just uh, take a look uh, very important to dry all around the leg okay and keep the uh keep the, the dryer in the place you're drying of course you know like some some people uh, sometimes they're drying, they forget they're drying, so the, the dryer is blowing one side and they're brushing another side in another place. So just um, just keep uh, blowing where you're brushing, okay? So what I do, I brush mostly in the direction that I want the hair to grow, but underneath the dog, I'll brush up, you see like, to, to dry underneath and then I brush down. You see, I start uh, going uh, around, go in the rear, brush the hocks up, you know, and uh, brush uh, the rear. Uh, make sure you're always brushing the direction the coat is, uh, is growing, and try to keep um, try to keep the dryer blowing the hair down and never. Uh, lifting up where you don't want the hair to be lift because then the hair can uh, can stay in that position like you, you dry your hair you know so just pay attention to that and uh, see uh, some some dogs uh, uh, don't stand too long they don't like to uh, to be brushed in certain places you be care you have to be careful with males because they have their there are uh, private parts there that you have to be careful with the brush, you know. Um, see how I hold from the the base of the tail. Never grab the tail from the tip. If you and and the thing is, I'm not kind of lifting the dog and just not letting him sit much, you know. And uh, but I hold from the base of the tail so the dog uh, doesn't sit. Now I go to the head. Um, uh, that's a problem for some dogs. So uh, that's why it's good for breeders to start training them very young. You know, turn the, um, turn the dryer on somewhat far from the dog, let it blow in their face, play with them. So they get used to that. Uh, so start at the top, brush uh, the sides up, you know, make sure, um, uh, it's dry, uh, brush the top forward, sides up, you know, uh, behind the ear. Try to, um, to dry near the skin because uh, you don't want to leave it uh, wet if you're still going to groom the, them after you bathe. And, and you always have to take some hair after you bait because uh, then uh, when the dog is a little bit dirty the hair stick with it the other so sometimes you don't see 
uh, how much hair there is in certain areas. You notice when you bathe and dry the dog, then you can see that the hair separates from each other and you can see where there's uh, uh, more hair uh, than you initially thought. So then you can groom. You see how I groom the top line? I lift the roots with my, um, my brush so to, to dry from the root up. Of course, end up drying the top first, but you're lifting the root, so giving them a little bit more volume on the top. And it's funny enough, it makes the hair uh, straighter. Uh, I mean, if the dog has a curly hair, it still be somewhat curly, but it helps to make it look straighter. So uh, it's how I lift and dry the top line uh, of the dog. So. Just keep uh, brushing and take a while. Once you once you um, uh, think the dog is dry, turn off the dryer, test the dog, make sure every part is dry. If it's not dry, so you can turn it on again and try um, to to dry just those parts. Uh, don't use the the blower in uh, uh, too hot. I use medium heat, um, so because that can dry, can dry in a sense of the door, the hair gets very dry and breakable. Uh, if you use uh, mainly if you have to bait him the dog a lot because of dog shows. So uh, and uh, the top line, uh, as you see, I I bait the whole dog here. Okay, I do that that. Uh, maybe once a month if the dog is not too dirty. And this is to, to treat the hair. I use conditioner, I use uh, the shampoo and then conditioner to condition the hair to get some moist uh, and not get it breakable. And, uh, but uh, most of the time I bait just the head and the legs and furnishings, I mean the skirt, you know, and I leave the top line. But this time I brush the top line. It's good to show you how I dry it so you guys can, uh, can see here. Yeah, brush the tail uh, towards the back, the back of the tail up. So you see, I do it a little bit with my hand because there's too much uh, water still there. And then I'll brush it up. Uh, so from this point, it's just repeating the process all around and making sure every part is, uh, is dry, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'll speed up this, uh, this video so we can get to the grooming after the, the dry, okay? So now, um, 
after I, I dried the dog, uh, now I get the brush with uh, um, chalk and I chalk him all over, okay? Just not too much, but just enough. So um, the hair will be easier to, uh, to grab, to be grabbed and, and pull, okay? And uh, at this point, after I, um, I uh, bathe and dry, I don't groom too much, okay? I uh, just uh, groom enough to, you see, like as I brush there, the hair that show up, that, uh, that were, were, not, uh, were not there earlier because they were stuck, so you couldn't, couldn't see now they're, they're uh, separated and you can pull a little bit more. Uh, so I continue to clean it up. You can see here. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to figure it out uh, how I uh, can um, zoom in and out here uh, in um, Adobe, Adobe Rush. So, uh, but soon I'll hopefully I'll be able to zoom in uh, to areas to show you guys how I um, from close up shots. Uh, of the area, how I poo. Uh, at this point, like you can watch this not only on your phone, you can go to, uh, watch on uh, on your computer so you can see it bigger and even watch on your uh, smart TV. So um, it is even bigger, so it will be easier to see certain areas. But I'll, I'll, I'm learning how to edit to make, to do a better job for you guys. So um, hopefully, soon we'll be able to do it uh, now cleaning the shoulders uh, still have some hair that uh, that uh, i can see that extra hair so i can i have to take um, so you see there you can see very clearly where i take the hair and it looks nicer after that so um and i between uh between uh, pulling i just brush or comb a little bit just to see how it looks like and, uh, and repeat the process. So soon I'm gonna slow down the video and um, to make sure uh, you guys see how I pull the, the shoulder and just behind the shoulder where the, the hair meets the leg there, the area. So you see that I see some uh, excess hair there and I pull, I slow down the, the footage a little bit so you guys can see me pulling and the hair coming right out and you see how it makes a difference in the in the um, length of the leg okay so put a little bit more chalk there uh, make sure I know exactly where I'm gonna pull and then you'll be able to see where there's more hair there that I'm taking out and making the leg look slightly up 
Okay. Uh, you can uh, get the footage of before and after. Like you can rewind and see how it looks before and how it looks after. Okay. Here guys, notice how I was um, grooming the side and the rear a little bit and then I moved the dog, I saw something in the neck, I went back and started grooming a little the neck and then I go back to the side and, and back to the rear. So I don't stick to one place all the time uh, because you can go too far sometimes and it's not, it's not good. So try to move around, you know, back and forth um, and uh, as you move you see hair in different place that has has to be taken and you, you can take them off okay um, the other thing that I, I like to remind you guys here is to please um, please subscribe uh, and uh, give the video a like uh, leave a comment uh, it's very important uh, if I if I'm to continue to do this, I need to have uh, more subscribers, and uh, and uh, I'm doing this for you guys, so you guys can help me uh, sharing this video, telling your friends to subscribe to my channel, so there will be always some uh, great uh, content here for you. I'll try to make it interesting and and. You guys have a good source to learn how to groom your West, okay? We're getting to the end of another grooming session. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And um, I hope to see you guys back here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends, okay? Thank you very much and have a great day.